So you've got a new Fire TV stick. It's sleek, fast and ready for all of your streaming desires. But what about that old one? Is it gathering dust? Or maybe it's a potential gift? Or perhaps a quick sale? Hold right there. Before you make a single move, you need to know what secrets that seemingly innocent device could still be holding. And who you might be unknowingly sharing them with. Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're like me and recently treated yourself to a new Fire TV stick, maybe that shiny new 4K Max, your old Faith 4 might be looking a little redundant. You're probably weighing your options. Stick it on another TV, pass it along to a friend, or maybe even try to recoup some cash. All perfectly reasonable thoughts. But before you take any of those steps, there's a critical piece of information you absolutely need to be aware of. Because that old fire stick, it's more than just a piece of tech. It's a digital scrapbook of your viewing habits, your preferences, and even your private accounts. Think about it. Over time, this little device has become uniquely yours. It's learned your favorite apps, your personalized settings, maybe even a custom launcher that truly makes it one of a kind. And let's not forget the elephant in the digital room. Your logged in accounts. Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Disney Plus, the list goes on. Your usernames and passwords are saved, ready for instant access. You might even have sideloaded apps with content you'd prefer to keep, well, private. Recently, having upgraded to the new Fire TV Stick 4K Max myself, I was faced with the same question about my old Fire TV Stick Lite. A friend offered to take it, which was incredibly generous, but then it hit me. Could I simply just hand it over? Should I just deregister my Amazon account, or was a more drastic measure needed, a full factory reset? And that's where things get really important because there's a massive difference between these two options. If you're planning on giving away or selling your old Fire Stick, understanding this difference could save you from some serious privacy headaches. My Fire TV Stick Lite was deeply connected to my Amazon account. It was the gateway to my Prime Video library and all those streaming apps were logged in with my personal credentials. Even my YouTube account was there, complete with my watch history and saved playlists. I even had a few apps sideloaded from outside the official app store. So I went through the motions of deregistering my Amazon account. The system warns you that this will remove content and some features might not work. But what exactly does that mean in terms of your personal data? Well, after deregistering, the Fire Stick does indeed prompt a new user to sign in with their Amazon account. But here's the kicker. The home screen still looked incredibly familiar. Those side-loaded apps, still there in plain sight. Any semblance of privacy for those just went out the window. And while some Amazon App Store apps might need a quick reinstall, guess what else remained? My Netflix account was still logged in. My friend could have started binging without even knowing they were using my subscription, potentially messing with my viewing limits and recommendations. And shockingly, my YouTube account was also still active, granting full access to my watch history, searches and playlists. Now, thankfully, Amazon Prime Video did require a new login as it's directly tied to the Amazon account. But the fact remains, deregistering alone leaves a significant amount of your personal data and account access vulnerable. This is a serious privacy risk. Unless you have absolute trust in the person you're giving your Fire Stick to and have had a detailed conversation about the implications of simply just deregistering, you could be inadvertently sharing a lot more than just a streaming device. 
That's why, for the vast majority of us, the only truly safe and responsible way to handle your old fire stick before passing it on is to perform a full factory reset. Think of it as hitting the reset button on your digital life within that device, wiping it clean and returning it to its original fresh out of the box state. It's a straightforward process. Just navigate to settings on your Fire Stick, select My Fire TV, and then choose Reset to Factory Defaults. It takes a few minutes, but trust me, the peace of mind it provides is absolutely worth the wait. This will erase all of your personal data, log you out of all apps, and restore all settings to their original defaults. So before you hand over that old fire stick, remember what we discussed. Deregistering is not enough to protect your privacy. Take that extra step, perform a full factory reset and ensure that your digital secrets stay safe. If this video has opened your eyes to the potential risks, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone you know who might be upgrading their streaming devices. Subscribe for more essential tech tips and tricks and let me know in the comments what you plan to do with your old fire stick. Thanks for watching. That's why, for the vast majority of us, the only truly safe and responsible way to handle your old file stick... File stick? <laughs> I'm getting broke.